Hello everybody, welcome to another radiology tutorial. I've been missing my radiology, I've been missing my histology and histopathology, but we're back anyway. So back to basics, uh, when it comes to the importance of x-rays in diagnosis, you'll be surprised to know how much these black and white images can reveal. At the same time, you have to understand that there are things that cannot be diagnosed with the help of x-rays and there are other diagnostic tools for that. An abnormality can only present in three different ways on a chest x-ray or on any x-ray for that matter. Number one is an opacity uh, and it is also known as a radio opacity. We are dealing with radiation and the opacity in case of x-rays is known as also known as radio opacity and you need to understand what is opacity number two is lucency also known as radio lucency and you need to understand what is radio lucent or radio lucency the third clue of an abnormality on an x-ray is either displacement or distortion of a normal structure with or without any features of any abnormal opacity or any abnormal lucency. For that reason you have to have a good understanding of normal anatomy and physiology. You also have to have a good understanding of uh, normal features of an x-ray. Okay? Every organ and every tissue on a on an x-ray has some degree of radio opacity and radio lucency. You have to know what is normal and what is abnormal. So first thing first, we will discuss radio opacity or radio lucency in this tutorial. So x-rays are made up of, of packets of energy known as photons. So these dots are representing photons. Ordinary light is also made up of photons, but the frequency of light is not high enough to penetrate any object. So light photons are reflected from most of the surfaces and thus make things visible. However, if everything reflected same amount of frequency of light, you would not be able to differentiate between two things. X radiation on the other hand is composed of photons that have a very high frequency and thus have the ability to penetrate through different objects or to be very precise different elements. The frequency is out of range of visible light spectrum and that makes X-rays invisible. Some elements, depending upon the number of electrons in their atoms, have the ability to either completely or partially absorb X-ray photons. Such elements will produce opaque shadows on X-ray film or detector. For example, bones are mostly made up of calcium, which has a, an atomic number of 20 means calcium atom has 20 electrons uh, in, in its shells. These electrons can stop a big number of X-ray photons producing a comparatively opaque shadow on X-ray. In contrast, soft tissue around bones are mostly made up of hydrogen, oxygen, carbon and nitrogen. These are the elements of uh, protein. Nitrogen has an atomic number of 7. All these atoms have number of electrons much lower than the calcium. So soft tissue will allow a lot of extra photons to pass through itself and which uh, creates a comparatively lucent shadow. So <laughs> these are photons and this is an object here we'll assume it's a bone mostly made up of uh, calcium. Calcium has a high atomic number 20 
and as a result most of the photons are stopped here this is x-ray film and because no photons are coming through so this area will have no exposure to the x-ray photons and it will produce an opaque shadow or a radio opaque shadow on the x-ray film this will assume is a soft tissue which is made up of um, oxygen hydrogen nitrogen and uh, carbon atoms all have much lower atomic number and as a result they let most of the photons pass through some of the photons will come to the x-ray film they will expose this area an x-ray film is sensitive to both light photons and x-ray photons so this will become darker and the difference of densities in these two areas is the reason why we can differentiate between a bone a soft tissue lung tissue or a fat tissue on an x-ray air is the most lucent on x-rays not only because it has elements like oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide but also the molecules are located at a distance to each other so air will let most of the radiation pass through the blackness of lungs on HS x-rays because a lung is full of air however it also has dense structures such as bones ribs I mean uh, it also has blood vessels uh, and blood vessels have liquid and for that reason a, a number of radiation are absorbed in blood vessels there is uh, a lot of air around uh, a blood vessel so the radiation is passing through that makes a very good contrast and for that reason blood vessels are visible on a chest x-ray notice the blood vessels even large blood vessel is not visible here which is aorta is passing through inferior vena cava is passing through here it's not visible uh, major blood vessels are not visible here because the density of blood vessel here and the tissue around it is almost same however bones are absorbing more radiation as compared to soft tissue and, and for that reason bones are visible thank you very much